Hyasis, this is Easy Yacht, and we are sailing the Asia Blue idyllic Greek islands on board Far Away 2 and 1999 launch Bavaria Holiday 46. And this was the privately owned yacht of the owner of a charter yacht company in Croatia many years ago. And the uh, people that bought her about 10 years ago were from Australia. And they were very lucky in that she was very highly specced, unlike a lot of more minimal charter yachts that you find quite often for sale. And Far Away 2 has been fully imported to Australia, so there is no difficulty in gaining any types of paperwork for the boat. So this boat spends five to six months of the year in the water and in the winter season she is uh, put into dry storage on dry dock. So everything comes off the boat and uh, then in springtime they uh, relaunch her into the water and get her ready for the sailing season. And it's very easy to do this across the Mediterranean and in particular in Greece there are a number of places where you can haul out over winter and it's very accessible and very reasonably priced. And this means that there's a very rigorous maintenance schedule that must be completed at the beginning and the end of every season. Far Away 2 has a, a very extensive inventory and is equipped with everything that you'd need for cruising in the Mediterranean and farther afield. She has an in-mast furling main, a furling headsail, a uh, Raymarine autopilot, excellent power systems and solar panels. And she does also have a portable generator, although it's very rarely used. And she even has a diesel heater if you did decide to spend a winter on board. I think one of the uh, bonus features on Far Away 2 is her bow thruster because in the afternoons you can get quite strong breezes and the bow thruster is particularly advantageous when you're trying to get in and out of little small fishing ports when there are a lot of other boats competing for a spot on the quay. And it's very common to tie up stern too, so she does have all of the additional lines that you need. She also has her gangplank, or the passerelle as it's known in Europe, which is obviously very important when you want to get off the boat and go ashore or go for tapas in the nearby taverna. Far Away has four cabins, two double cabins in the aft section of the yacht and two in the forward section. And when I asked the owners what drew them to the Bavaria holiday, they said that a 44 or 46 foot yacht is really an ideal size for cruising in the med. She sleeps 10 and you can sit eight to 10 people around the dining table. And the fact that she has a diesel heater means that you could spend a winter on board as well and have guests at the same time quite comfortably. There's also a very elaborate uh, nav ch chart table, which you can also work a, a laptop from. There are two heads. The aft head has a separate shower unit and the forward head has uh, an integrated shower both with hot water and there is 500 litres capacity, so plenty of water and there's always somewhere to fill up alongside in a quay. She's the inline galley with a brand new stove and very good refrigeration. And there in the forward section, there are two twin cabins with a double on the bottom and a single bunk above. And every locker has Caframo uh, fans and hanging storage and lockers. And she is powered by a Volvo Penta Turbo 78 horsepower engine, which is serviced annually, both at the end of the season and beginning of the season. So very, very well maintained yacht. Far Away 2's rigging was updated in 2013. And as I mentioned, she is fully imported and on the Australian ship's register and would make a fantastic family cruising yacht for the Mediterranean summers either by a fully owned or share syndicate option. So if you're interested and would like to learn more about sailing in the Med, please get in touch at the number below and I would love to tell you more about Far Away too. Thanks for watching.